Spontaneous Speaking Video 28. Alright, so today I'm going to be talking about breaking through glass ceilings. And this is just a fancy metaphor for being unable to reach certain heights or attain certain visions or prestigious um, positions that happen to be could be due to a barrier that is either psychological or a physical one that you're just unable to attain. And I apologize in advance for the environment that I'm in. It's actually quite volatile, which means unstable or likely to cause trouble. Uh, there's people that walk around every now and then. There's somebody over there who's studying. Um, I don't know. But this is the best place that I could find for right now. I just left the gym. And anyway, yeah, sorry if any noise happens like I was saying I've been thinking about this concept a lot especially like when I made my chasing buses um, spontaneous speaking video and even the spontaneous speaking video I made a few months ago on um, uh, visionary thinking and looking into the future um, I feel like there's there's a lot of us that have certain visions, that have certain dreams, that have certain things that we want to attain, that we want to accomplish, and we just, for whatever reason it may be, we just don't attain them. We don't, we don't press forth, we don't put in enough energy. We have people in our lives who are telling us, oh no, you can't make it, or oh no, you have to do this and this and this first. And a lot of those people are right. You know, you do have to, in some cases, I guess, <laughs> complete school, get your degree, get your master's degree, then go off to do this and all of that. And But the, the people who are telling you that you'll never do this, that, oh, that's just unrealistic, like, I feel like that's a completely... No, <laughs> you know, like, I feel like, huh, I think the best way I can say this is that I believe that God, for those of you who believe in God, I believe in God. I have strong faith in God. I'm not ashamed of it. And I believe that if God has placed a vision in your heart, if God has placed a passion, a vision, um, a certain mindset in your heart, and you've communicated that with him, like, this is what I have. I want to make sure this is from you, this is not from me, and he has placed that in you. The same God who has given you that vision will also give you what's necessary to complete and attain that vision. It all goes back to even the video that I said before, that you were made for this. Um, God, the same God that has called you to do something will equip you to do it. And I believe that we have a lot of people in our lives who do not know about our own potential. A lot of times because we don't know about our own potential. And sometimes we have to spend a lot of time with God in order to figure out what our true purpose is, what our true potential is as an individual. Um, sometimes we even have to uh, spend a lot of time learning about ourselves. You know, like reading a lot of self-help books. Um, uh, learning about your MBTI type, you know, past the whole are you an E or I thing, like getting into your cognitive functions and developing that, developing who you are as a person, um, surrounding yourself around the right people who can be able to tell you like, hey, this is what I see in you, you know, this is what I believe that you are capable of, um, the way that you're able to make this realistic. Um, the, the plans that you have. I think that you can do this. Um, and even a little bit of the critique of being able to accept when you are not capable of doing something. I'm not here to tell you that you can do anything that you put your mind to. And as long as you know you, you work on it hard enough, then you'll be able to do it. No, I'm not going to tell you that. Um, I believe personally that we can't do anything that we put our mind to. Um, maybe and we're not and I believe very firmly that we're not supposed to be able to do everything that we put our mind to um, I believe that it would be a waste of time for someone like me for example to put all of my strength 
and energy and everything that I have into becoming like the best engineer or mathematician possible. Like, no. Um, I think that me personally, it would be a waste of time to just learn and put all of my energy into like a cubicle job. I believe that I was made for something more or not even something more because I believe that the people who are called to those type of jobs, they were made, they were tailored for those type of jobs. But I am wired for something else. I have different gifts. I have different abilities. I have different visions. I have different passions than those who may be working as engineers or in a cubicle job and etc. And I feel like I've dealt with my share of people who told me that I cannot do certain things. Um, I've had a glass window above me for practically my whole entire life, I would say. Um, I've always been an idealist. I've always been that guy <laughs> who will tell you straight up, like, oh, yo, this is what I want to do. Like, one day I want to be, I want to be doing this. One day I want to be doing that. One day. I'm going to be doing this one day I'm going to be doing that and I will tell you my visions and my plans up straight and up front and I do this for two reasons one because I I found out that if I tell people what I'm going to do what I want to do the vision that I have now all of a sudden I have an external accountability whether they are whether they are purposely being accountable to me or not I feel like okay now that I've said it I have to do it you know it's different if you just keep it within yourself then you're like oh well you only have yourself to be accountable for so you have that inner Kermit within you that's like it's okay Denzel at least you never told anybody that's what you were gonna do and there have been a few visions where yeah I didn't really tell anybody this is what I was gonna do because I wasn't sure if they could be realistic first you have to make sure that your visions are realistic but for the ones that I believed were realistic, even though other people didn't believe that they were realistic because they didn't see what was within me, I said them and I told them, like, one day, this is what I'm going to do. One day, this is what I'm aiming for right now. And there was people who encouraged me, which is the second reason why I tell them. And there were people who gave me um, good critique, like, hey, I'm not saying that you can't make it, but I'm warning you that it's going to be hard and that you have to try this and you have to do this, you have to do that. And they just, you know, brought a more realistic view to me. And I appreciate that a lot. And then there were the people who just straight up didn't believe in me that told me like, no, you, you can't do that. Um, you know, and it's like, oh, okay. Um, I remember one example would be, not to say anybody's name, but I was talking to someone and I was telling them how, uh, like I struggle with math and I wasn't saying that oh you know I'm gonna drop out of school and I'm never gonna uh, do my math classes that I have left or whatever none of that I wasn't saying that I was just saying that I wish that I didn't have to do these math classes I already know how to add multiply subtract divide why do I have to learn any of the other stuff um, Oprah Winfrey <laughs> is not good at math, but why would she need that? She can just hire somebody else. That is annoying. Yo, can somebody put it? Okay, cool. Yeah, she, she could just hire somebody else to do her math for her, um, which I'm sure that she did. And why can't I just, you know, learn these basics, and I'm still going to, you know, classes and everything for it, but why can't I just skip all of my math classes? You know what I mean? And this guy, <laughs> he got really, like, frustrated with me and he's like well, you're, you're comparing yourself to you know people that have already made it and etc you're not them and you can't you know he was genuinely and I know he was coming from a good place but and I, I feel like he didn't realize that he was doing this I'm pretty sure he didn't realize he was doing this but the examples I gave brought up one of them was um, I believe Bill was it Bill Gates Steve Jobs who dropped out of college like I said I'm not planning on dropping out of college don't go anywhere saying that <laughs> but he dropped out of college and he attended classes on his own by his own choice um, without paying for college the classes that he wanted to take he learned whatever he needed and off he went and I feel like man that would be an ideal life for me you know <laughs> like just to go to the classes that I want to and then 
use that information to you know go off and go and go into the world and carry out my vision and um when i brought up these examples one with oprah as well who ironically has the same personality type as me um this person was like no you're not them these are people who made it their way etc etc you can't look to them and etc and i was thinking to myself you know what if somebody told them that in fact this person actually told me that i should shut down my youtube channel until i have finished my not only my undergrad in college but i've got my master's degree and everything's like yo youtube youtube will be there you know whenever you get whenever you get around to but right now just focus on the studies and like i said i'm not saying that you know it's bad what he said i noticed i know that he was saying this off like good heart good intention but to just throw away my passion for things that he he believes that you know it does not matter it it kind of was like a shot to the heart a little bit like oh dang like you don't think i'm capable dang you don't you don't think that what i'm doing is like important you don't you don't support me and this is a family member you know and um i'm just like man like that that really sucked but i did not allow that invisible barrier to withhold me i crashed through it because i knew how strong i was and i think that's what we need to as you uh just quick side note is every spontaneous speaking video i'm thinking as i'm saying this um so you're watching me form my thoughts but i think that the hammer that we need to break through this glass barrier that we have is knowing how strong we are inside and because i knew of my own potential because i was already aware thank god by the time this person was telling me all of these things what i was capable of and i knew that he was not aware of it then when he told me that i was like dang you know like that sucks that you don't believe in me that you don't see my potential you know etc but i didn't allow it to keep me down i didn't allow it to be a glass barrier where i'm like dang you know what i guess i'm just stuck in here forever just looking up at that ceiling past that glass barrier and seeing everything that i can be all the clouds and you know the sky and my and the limitless uh limitations i don't know the the just having no boundaries and just staring at it and being like dang i wish i could get there no i saw how strong i was within myself i was already aware of that and because i was already aware of it then it took no problem for me to just crash through it and i'm still crashing through glass barriers every now and then but i'm seeing the progress with each day um with each week um i speak to people who they they admire me they admire the things that i have to say i speak to a whole bunch of people who don't care about the things i have to say uh even friends of mine who are like oh yeah you have your little youtube channel thing going on that's great i don't expect them all to be supporting me like that that's fine but the people who do look at me and they see greatness within me i admire i i admire that i i love it and thankfully um this person that i just referred to he doesn't know this but of as of a couple of days ago i not only reached a hundred thousand views but i received an email from youtube and all of that and now i'm currently being paid <laughs> to make youtube videos now it's not anything like oh i'm about to become rich or anything you know maybe that'll come with more time especially since i've just now started this but it's a step it's you know like money is money and honestly I, I was doing this just for i'm still doing this just because of my passion just because i care about y'all and i think for that simple reason um once you follow your passion once you follow your dreams once you follow what is within you once you have, once you continue to follow what god has placed within you it does not matter what barriers are in your way you can crash through them god will equip you god will give you what you need so that you can get through that and i just want to encourage all of you that first of all figure out what your glass ceiling 
barriers are. What is that glass barrier that you that you are facing? Is it people in your life who are telling you that you are never going to make it? Is it people in your life that are telling you that you are not capable? Is it all of these things, these mundane things that are in your way? Um, is it the mindset that you have, like a psychological uh, barrier that you're even in yourself thinking that you can't make it? Um, and I want you to not only acknowledge those things, but now I want you to find ways to defeat it. I want you to look into yourself, deep into yourself, and realize your true potential within you. We all have it. And I want you to figure out what your visions are. I want you to look past that glass ceiling and see what's past there. And then I want you to allow that to be that motiv your motivation to break through that glass ceiling that you now have above you. And maybe with time, you'll actually be able to attain the heights that people always have told you that you will never be able to attain. Hope I've encouraged you today and continue to follow your intuition. Continue, you know, even if you're a sensor, we all have intuition. Um, continue, especially if you're a Christian, um, continue to follow the vision that God has placed within you. Um, I believe that you will eventually reach those heights. Done.